All right, man, we back. Good fellow sports TV. Let's talk some NFL. Almost to the NFC and AFC championship games today. I think 3.05 Eastern Standard Time. It's when the Chiefs and the Titans kick off. And then after that on Fox, that's on uh, CBS. And after that on Fox, it's the, uh, it's the 49ers and the Packers. But it's growing belief, and I'll drop an article link in the description if you don't believe me. Uh, it's growing belief that Tom Brady is going to... Uh, you know, field offers in free agency. He can visit teams. He gonna take offers. It seems like New England is willing to let him see what he get on the open market, and they may be ready to move on from Tom Brady. Uh, it was some rumors going out there that Belichick basically told Robert Kraft it's either me or Tom Brady. Don't know how true those were, but uh, you know, Brady. You know, Dana White said Brady could look at the Raiders. Um, you know, Vegas is a, is a huge city for him. I mean, obviously the L.A. Chargers. Chicago Bears. So I don't think him and his supermodel wife, uh, was not Griselda. I don't think they looking to play any Hick cities. I don't think they looking at Cleveland. I definitely sure don't look think they looking at Detroit. But Detroit they never get rid of Matt Stafford at all. No matter how bad or how good he is, that ain't happening. They just they love him too much to honors. It's a buddy buddy thing. But if he was a nigga, he'd be out of there. That's just my personal opinion on that. But but with time. Um, I think he's looking to play in a good city. Um, that's what I think he. I think he's looking to play in a good city, a team, you know, like Tennessee, ten Nashville is straight. Uh, they got Vrabel there, former Patriot. They got everything there to win. Uh, you know, the running game. They got some. They probably got to add a receiver there, but they receiver still better than what he had this year. So I mean, with Tom Brady, man, if he do leave New England, then he on, he on this Joe Montana. He's showing. He's trying to show people that he wasn't a system quarterback. But if I do think he leave, um, Oakland, to me, I don't think Oakland got enough. Even though uh, John Gruden loved those old quarterbacks like Rich Gannon and Brad Johnson, I just don't think Oakland got enough around. They getting there. You know what I'm saying? Um, Receiver-wise, come on. They got to add some more weapons out, out wide. Their defense, they coming together. Their old line is okay, but... I, I, I mean, playing in Vegas and, and breaking in the new Raider Stadium that look like the Death Star, yeah, maybe that's the move. But I think Tennessee got a better team for him. I think Chicago, man, since he don't mind playing in, in the cold weather, I think Chicago got the dope team for him. I think Chicago, I think Chicago, feeling with that defense, Trubisky really hurt that defense this year and a few injuries by not able, not being able to mount offense. But 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 Chicago, they got Chicago, they got a. Uh, they got receivers. I like Robinson. He from the D. Robinson, Miller, Trey Burton. He get healthy as a tight end. Um, they they got some they got some receivers out there. You know what I'm saying? They got it. Gabriel in the slot. Yeah, I think Chicago would be a good move. He don't mind playing in the cold, and it's a big city. It's like the third biggest city in America. It's probably gonna be fourth after this census. Houston gonna be probably be the third biggest city. They growing at a rapid pace. But like I said before, you know, Tom Brady leading New England. I don't think I don't think Tom Brady is finished. I just think New England was too cheap to put put shit around him. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just my honest opinion. I think New England was too cheap to put things around him. They're a cheap organization and they caught up with him. They didn't want to pay Antonio Brown. They didn't want to pay no receivers to come there. They don't draft well. You know what I'm saying? They don't draft well at all. They took him to kill Harry. They could have had DK Metcalf. Now Harry got injured, and I like Harry coming out, but Metcalf is more the receiver they need to be explosive and go down the field. But like I said before, it'll be it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. You know, if I, I don't I really don't want I really don't see Robert Kraft letting that happen. But you know, you know, you gotta think about the, the New England effect too. New England think it's easy just to go out there and, and, and replace a quarterback. Do they think it's that easy? That's the question. You know, Jordan Stenham from Auburn, he good. But if Tom Brady couldn't do shit with them receivers, with them receivers, what you think a, a, a first-year starter start, Jordan Stenham going to do? That's the that's the million-dollar question. Uh, what are he going to do? Probably nothing. So, but I'm going to tell you this. I bet, I bet you if, if they don't get Tom Brady in there, they don't get Tom Brady in there next season. Uh, they, he leave or he retire, do what he's going to do. 
I guarantee you they give Jordan Stenham a whole bunch of receivers and weapons. I guarantee you that. I think Bill Belichick wanted to get Tom Brady up out of there. I don't think they see eye to eye like that. But, hey, I'll leave a story in the description. Let me know if you think Tom Brady going to be playing somewhere else. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, response, your video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video one time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. Don't forget to check out our NFL playlist. We gone.